Today, I'd like to spark a debate. Today, I will discuss a topic that is one of the most controversial topics in the history of the United States. The information today is especially targeted to the women in the audience. Discrimination against women, while it may not be as significant as it was in previous history, is still a big problem. You are the future CEOs, doctors, and so much more for this country. But because you are a woman in society, you are supposed to, you are supposed to cook, clean, and take care of the children. In society, your wages shouldn't be equivalent with the man's wages. Growing up, my father, just like many of yours, would say, baby, you could be anything you want to be in life. You could be a doctor, a lawyer, or hell, even a pilot. The sky is the limit, right? At times, at times I thought, well, only my academic productivity and academic determination would determine that outcome. However, it turns out that with age comes wisdom, and with wisdom comes great disappointment. I quickly learned that my father's inspirational advice would be just another cliche for many women in society today. During this PowerPoint, I'm going to highlight three main stereotypes that oppress women across the United States. Stereotype one, men's jobs are more physical, so they should be paid more. So oftentimes when you think of a man's work, you think of construction, you think of building a house. But as you can tell from this, PowerPoint, women are paid 77 cents to every man's dollar, and as you can also tell, the variation changes based on the race. Now when I think of this statistic, I think about Rosa the River, who in 1945, the government planned a way for women to get in the workforce. When the men were out fighting in World War II, the employment for women rose from 27% to 37% during World War II. Now, before I go to the next slide, I'd like to take a quick poll. For the women in the audience, if you would like to be in the medical field, if you could please raise your hand. If you would like to one day own your own business, please raise your hand. Or if you would like to one day be a cook. Now, as you can see from this chart, the variation between men and women ranges based on your job. <clears throat> Male surgeons are paid $590 more than female surgeons, following CEOs Male CEOs are paid $455 more than female CEOs. Now this strikes me because I get confused because if we go to the same classes, we take the same test, and we pass the same board exam, why aren't our wages the same? So the third stereotype is Women, shouldn't, women should act like ladies. So approximately one out of every two women will be harassed at some point during their academic lives, whether that's sexual or maybe verbal. Now Gandhi made a statement that really intrigued me. It is, of all the evils for which man has made himself responsible, None is so degrading, so shocking, or so brutal as his abuse of the better half of the humanity, the female sex. Now, I don't want you guys to get confused, but there are different types of discrimination against women. Now you have discrimination against women in sports, and you have discrimination against women in the church. Now, I want you guys to look at these two pictures right here, and everybody can answer by a show of hands. If you recognize this woman basketball player on the left, please raise your hand. Okay. 
If you recognize or have seen this male basketball player before, please raise your hand. Now, as you can see, majority of you raise your hands for the male basketball player. You wonder why is that? Why aren't women valued when they play the same sport? They both get paid more than what a teacher is paid, but he is valued more than she is. But why is that? That's the seed that I want to spark. That's the conversation, the debate that I want to spark. Now, as you guys look at this one, this is the church about the Bible. And it's said that, you know, women are supposed to obey their husband in the Bible. Women are supposed to, look, sorry, women cannot divorce their husband in the Bible. It is a sin or it is wrong for women to divorce their husband. Why is that? Now, when I was in the fifth grade, I did a, I did a research project on a lady named Sanjana True. And the poem goes, Ain't I a woman? Look at me. Look at my arms. I planted and gathered into barns, and no man could help me. Ain't I a woman? I could work as much and eat as much as a man when I could get it and bear the lashes as well, too. Ain't I a woman? I bore 13 children and seemed most often to slavery. And when I cried out with a mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me. Women's rights and Negro rights. If my cup won't hold but a pint and yours holds a quart, wouldn't you be mean not to let me have my little half measure full? Now, the debate is whether women and men should have the same rights and wages. But there's only one answer to this question. If she does the same quantity and quality of work, simple justice requires that she should be paid the same wages. To deny her this right is to deny her justice. To deny this is to deny my rights. All rights are equal. So women in the audience, please realize the customs of our society. Fight for, what's, fight for what is right and what you deserve. 